there, it's Tarot Toad, and you may recall that I did a yes and no video a couple weeks back, and I used the tarot cards. I flipped them. If they were upright, it meant yes. If it was in reverse, it meant no. And my son told me, he said, Mom, why don't you, why don't you put the item out on the screen so people can see what you're actually guessing and then see the card come up. So I did that and I kind of had fun with it at first. And then I was like, you know what? I wonder if I would get better results if I didn't joke around and I actually um, really tried to focus in on pulling the correct card. So I am going to share the results with you. I'm going to show you my, you know, funny kind of whimsical uh, card pulls for, for the items. And then I'm going to superimpose the more serious card pull. And we're going to see which one fared better which one was more accurate, the one where I joked around or the one where I was a little serious? And, and did that make a difference? You be the judge. It, the results are kind of interesting. So let's go. So I'm going to use the Deviant Moon Tarot tonight to answer yes or no questions. I'm gonna put the item right here where this box is. And if yes and no will work the same way as my original video. If the card is upright, it means it's a yes. If it's in reverse, it means it's a no. Pretty simple, let's go. First item, this is my grand dog's Kong. You stuff those suckers with peanut butter and it keeps them busy for hours. Well, I'm gonna ask the tarot if the Kong is blue. Is the Kong in front of me blue? Let's find out. Is the Kong in front of me blue? Oh, we got a wrong one out of the gate. It's saying, yes, it's blue, but it is indeed not blue. It is red. Next, this measuring cup is yellow. And the idea is you're supposed to infuse your energy into the cards. So let's see if it says I'm right. This measuring cup is yellow. No, what? No, it's not. It is. It actually is. Okay, we're two for two in the wrong direction. Let's try another one. This post-it note pad is pink. This post-it note pad is pink. Finally, we got one. Upright means yes. The post-it note is pink. Let's see if we can do any better for the rest of this. I have a sphere that looks like a constellation. I have a sphere that looks like a constellation. Do I have a sphere that looks like a constellation? Yes, I do have a sphere that looks like a constellation. If you look there, see, and then I put it on a, a little light stand and it glows in different colors. Well, thank you, Page of Pentacles, for not making a liar out of me. Okay, go to the next one. The handle of these scissors is gold. The handle of these scissors is gold. 
see. Is the handle of these scissors gold? No, it's not. It's black, and thank you. It was, it was the uh, reversed, what, four of wands. The reversed four of wands. Again, not making a liar out of me. Okay, let's see. Are we starting to cooperate? I have a white chocolate Reese egg. It's not the regular chocolate, it's the white chocolate. I have the white chocolate Reese egg. Yes, I do have the white chocolate Reese egg. Thank you, Four of Pentacles. That is a white chocolate egg. Okay, how many more we got? Let's see. This eighth of a teaspoon is purple. This eighth of a teaspoon is purple in color. Is the eighth of a teaspoon purple? No. Well, it sure looks purple to me. What are you saying? Okay. So you gotta know. You realize it's 50-50. You know, 50-50. But maybe I need to concentrate more. <laughs> this cell phone holder is orange. Look, it's, it looks like a little person with a big old mouth. I know some people like that. <laughs> this cell phone holder is orange. Yes or no? Cell phone holder is orange? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The Ace of Cups comes through for me. Yes. Okay. Got a few more. A few more to do. This planter is in the shape of a frog. This planter is in the shape of a froggy. I actually had a succulent in there. That is a frog. Is my planter in the shape of a frog? Tell me, Tarot. Is the planter in the shape of a frog? No. What the heck? Well, guess what? It is in the shape of a frog. Next, this cup, this nice mug I got is purple nice mug I got is purple. Is the mug purple? Yes, it is. It is purple, saith the cards. Okay. I'm going to have to add up what I got right and what I didn't. This is a bag of runes. This is a bag of runes. Is that a bag of runes? Yes, it is. Let's see if it's true. Is this a bag of runes? Yes. It's a bag of runes. Thank you. It's the Eight of Cups. Validating my question. Okay. The last one, all you big girls might appreciate. This 
ratchety ass bra thing actually holds my boobs. This ratchety thing actually does the job and supports me when I try to wear it. Hmm. Don't let me down. By the way, I tried to return them. Will this support me? No, no, it won't. That is false. You should be upside down because this says that it will hold a bowling ball. And this part is sticky, you know, and it sticks. Like, look at that. Oh. Well, girl, I know I don't have bowling balls, but this buyer beware, because they won't let you send it back. Because they say it is not, it's not defective. I just have bowling balls for, for, you know, you get the idea. Okay, let's do one last one. I am doing a book study on the intuitive tarot. I'm doing a book study on the intuitive tarot. Am I doing a book study on the intuitive tarot? Oh, you know what? Yes, I am. I've been studying this book for the last four weeks. You're a liar. <laughs> okay, well, this time you actually got to see the items that I was asking the question about, and you got to see in real time whether or not the cards validated what I had in front of me. And this little deck is, was not very helpful. I think I didn't even get over half of the cards right. Hmm. I'll have to add it up, but there we go. Yes or no's, yes is upright, no is in reverse. Simple way to do it. But many will say it's 50-50. So really, I mean, it's nothing more than just the luck of the draw. But what do you think? What do you think? I think I really like this deck. It is really amazing. Look at that. Look at that. It's the Deviant Moon. Thank you, Deviant Moon even though you didn't really come through for me very well. So here are the results. When I had fun with my tarot draw, I had 54% accuracy, getting seven out of the 13 correct. However, when I was serious and took my time and concentrated, I got a 77% accuracy on the 13 card poll. So what'd you think of that? I thought it was an interesting scenario because when I first did the card bowls, I was kind of joking around and, and, and then I was like, wait a minute, isn't this supposed to be about me infusing my energy into the cards? And it actually, it, who knows, it could be argued it's 50, 50. I get it. But when I joked around, I only got a 54% accuracy rate with my card pulls. And when I really thought hard and really thought about it, I got a 77%. So I thought that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, like and subscribe. I, I hope to try some other unique ways to use the tarot and maybe some other unique ways to do yes and no readings. But until next time, a total do.
Bye.